Hi, I'm Jared Devotny, an OpenShift specialist from Red Hat. With me today is Pranav, a quality engineering SME from IBM. Introduce yourself and give us a quick summary of what you're going to be showing us. Hi, my name is Pranav Prakas. Today we are going to look into different aspects of testing for a OpenShift version 3 to OpenShift version 4 migration. So we will be leveraging the capability of IBM Ignite quality platform to automate the test scenarios and to verify the test results. Just to be clear, Ignite isn't just for use during migrations. You can use it to test the applications that you have today. Based on market research companies like Forrester, Gartner, ISG, and HFS, IBM's Ignite platform is leading the market. You can see in this Forrester wave chart that IBM is firmly in the leaders category for continuous automation and testing services. Pranav, where would you like to start? For that purpose, IBM, we will start with a brief introduction about the IBM Quality Platform. So if you look at my screen, so IBM Quality Platform is based on AI and ML-based engine, which leverages extensively the open source tools for optimization, automation, and analytics. And it supports Agile and BDD lifecycle, CI-CD integration for the web, mobile, and API applications. So to start with, First, we have the optimization, where it optimizes the test cases. Then we have automate, which basically uh, help us to create the test cases and also execute the test cases. And then we have analyze, where we will be looking at the test results. And we will be having the dashboards for defects as well as the progress of the test execution. So from here, we will be looking at the different, different aspect of the Ignite Quality Platform, mainly from the OpenShift application workload migration from version 3 to version 4 of the OpenShift. Saying that, we will be uh, also looking at the other aspects of non-functional verifications with regard to storage, with regard to the network, the routes, security uh, certificates, and etc. The Ignite Platform is full of useful features for anyone interested in automating their application testing Enough talking about it, let's see it in action. For the demonstration purpose, we have created a custom application, which is uh, developed on Node.js, and it uses a Postgres SQL database, mainly for uh, list to, to list the fruits, where you can add a new fruit, you can add the stock quantity for it, you can modify the stock quantity, and also you can remove some of those existing uh, fruits which is added to the fruit list. So we will be looking at the testing of this particular application for all the three transactions that we discussed just now. So IBM Quality Platform, this is a screen which is created for OpenShift migration where we have two major components. One is the test generation and then we have the test automation. We will start with the test generation. So if you look at my screen, this is the Cucumber based feature file where you have the test case uh, feature file, uh, where it starts with uh, launching the URL for the application, providing the details for the fruit name, providing the quantity, then getting it added, getting it added to the fruit list, verify the names, verify the quantity, then modify the existing stock, verify the modified entity, and toward the end, remove the added route that we have added. That covers all the three transactions. So this will be uh, uh, created in the feature file, which will be also, there will be test execution uh, attributes, which we will be looking into the OTFA, which is the next screen. So if you look at my screen, so we have this test execution. So if you look at my test reports, so these are the test execution, which was executed for this fruit uh, stock management feature file. I'm going to show you some of the executions outcome. So we have total 12 scenarios in this. So this is a basically application screen, which is recorded. And it has a scenario based step by step details. So if you look at this, how to we will be navigating to the URL of the application providing all details. And towards the end, all of these reports will be available to us in this screen, as well as you have the historical data also available 
for all the previous executions. So I have multiple executions done for this particular feature file. One of those, if I have to download this report in a PDF format, we will be downloading this report in the PDF, which is for your consumption, which provides you the application name, timing, must time does it take, was it run locally or was it run on a server, and all the detailed execution about your different steps, right? So here are the different steps, right? So we started with a quantity as a stock 20, then we got modified it to 15, verified whether the attribute is updated with 15, and then toward the end, I have removed uh, this particular file. And this is the last screen that you see after all the transaction is done. This is my final screenshot of my application. Saying this, this covers the functional automation using IBM Knight Quality Platform, where we will be leveraging the test automation to verify the functionality when the workloads are migrated from version 3 to version 4. There are non functional aspects which also get verified. So, one of the key attributes for non functional attribute verification in this case is the persistence volume that whether all my data which is there existing in the version 3.0 is migrated to version 4. So, we will be looking at the persistence volume size, we will be looking at the storage class, read permission, all of that attribute. So, so we have this YAML file verification which we will be looking at what is the bound, what is the capacity, and what are the annotation for my volume claim. So this all steps will be verified as part of the migration. Along with that, the attributes like say services, the port, in this case, uh, my service uh, internal cluster IP service is exposed on port 8080. And then there is a mapping route created for my application so that it can be uh, accessed from outside. If you look at this uh, route, which is, is providing me the my application exposure to the outside the cluster, and this is the endpoint URL for my application. So exactly this is what you will be seeing in my application, right? So, so that we also verify the route, if there are domain name verification, there are certificate if it is a SSL application, SSL enable or TLS enable, we will be looking at the verification for the cert certificates. And then there are uh, the workload verification. So in this case, we have the pod, we will be looking at the pod logs, whether there are exceptions in the uh, log. So in this case, I have two pod running. One is the Postgres SQL, then another is my Node.js application. So we do verify the logs uh, of post migration during transition, whether all my attributes are working as expected, if there are any exception or what kind of exception it is. So that get verified uh, by looking to the log for individual pods post migration activity. So these are the things. Uh, along with that, we do verify with resiliency, uh, where we do verify the application reliability with regard to creating cross experiments. And uh, those pro inputs are provided back to the development team and also the team who is re uh, responsible for the migration of the application. Thanks for the demo, Pranav. Ignite is an impressive platform for anyone looking to automate their application testing. For anyone who's interested in a more in-depth look at how to do the migration itself, you can check out a video my teammate Santosh made, where he walks you through migrating a stateful Node.js application with a Postgres database from OpenShift 3 to OpenShift 4. Thanks for watching.